G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and I have loads in store for you today. We check out a trail ruins. These things are huge. Did you know they were this big? I had no idea they were this big. And we throw together a small country style build. Yeah, it's basic, but I think that turned out pretty good. And we have heaps of fun just playing the game. Remember, it's Minecraft, not Grindcraft. Let's get this thing started. So continuing on from last week's episode where, uh, where I made the change that uh, we weren't going to be grinding anymore, I decided to go on another adventure. I knew where there was a trail ruins, but on the way there got distracted by a shiny chest. Okay, so we love these chests. We've been very lucky in this season with our chests, so let's have a look. Ah, well that one's a little disappointing. But anyway, <laughs> there's another one just over here. So look at this, we've got three different biomes all within one block of each other. So, jungle, plains, and Badlands. <laughs> uh, so this chest here, yeah, glowberries are okay, I guess, and torches I can always use. And what about this one? Ah, diamonds. Well, diamonds and nameplates we can always use, so that's always good. Excellent. And torches and coal. I'll keep them too. Oh, how cool is that? A baby ocelot. You don't see the baby versions of things out in the hunch in the wild very much. Maybe if we sneak up on it, we can grab it. I know grabbing things is not a Minecraft mechanic. <laughs> Sneaky sneak. Come on. Oh, I think it went now. Anyway. And this is what we were here for. This looks a lot like suspicious gravel to me. So let's have a look and see what we get out of this. stick or a dead bush more like it and a lead it's not about that this time though it's not going to be about the loot it's this time it's about exposing the ruin I've never seen what one looks like uh, in full so let's dig this thing out and have a look and see what we get <laughs> that is really close. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've built myself a little hut. Now, the reason I've built myself a little hut is from the moment of the last part of recording that I did to now, I have kind of... Oh, dear. I have kind of done a lot of work. Uh, I have taken that archaeologic... Arch uh, the digging, I've taken the digging and I've made, what is it, archaeological. I've taken the archaeological dig uh, to a bit of a different level. So I decided I was going to dig the whole thing out, right? But start to finish. And, and that's a big thing. So the last time I did anything with this, I, I was just interested in the loot. That's all I cared about was what loot you got. This time, because I'm just doing it for fun, because this is playing Minecraft, I decided to dig out the whole thing. <laughs> These things are huge. Did you know they were this big? I had no idea they were this big. I didn't know they went down this far. Maybe they don't normally go down this far. But this one does. It's massive. This thing is so huge. Um, so, uh, okay, so I've wasted probably about eight pieces of suspicious gravel. Oh, gee, there's so many words that I'm not used to saying. Suspicious gravel. Uh, they can get hard to see when you're not in the right lighting and things, and, and I struggle with seeing them anyway. And I, I dug up one cracked uh, concrete. So, I, the, the stone, cracked stone. I've ruined the whole thing. 
No, everything else is, I, I think everything else is intact. So this bit here, this is obviously meant to be like a path, right? That goes up, up here to the main, whatever that is, the main building, I guess. And different, there are different levels on uh, for each of these buildings, but I'm guessing so this is the main building here. This has like this mud, mud hut thing off to the side here. Um, lots of mud bricks and, and mud on the ground and stuff like that. And then it, yeah, and then it comes out over to here and it's got, it's got this piece, which as I said, is the main piece. And this is obviously a room off to the side, but that goes all the way up there. And so I'm probably telling you stuff that you already know, but it's stuff that I didn't know. So just in case you don't know, then now you do know. <laughs> and you get different little tool items. So like there's a loom in here. So you're guessing this is like, you know, someone who was like a tapestry person or something like that. Um, there are There is a kitchen in one of them or there are stoves. So you presume that's a kitchen. But yeah, there are furnaces here. Uh, the blast furnaces. So I presume this was like a kitchen of some sort, maybe. And great archaeological work, by the way. Um, that I'm just guessing what things worth. <laughs> probably they probably know that hole. We're going to go and have a look at in a minute. Uh, but yes, yeah, so there's that one. There is that's one of the ones with the cartography. Yeah, yeah. So this one here is like a cartography. Um, sort of building and things like that there's a couple of those i think that one was two yes it was yeah yeah and then this little weird red building there i don't know what that was so i don't know if they're always like this i'm not sure if this is a thing or whether um whether it's just uh yeah, just this one is built this way I, I i'm okay so because of the amount of digging that this has taken to get to here i'm not in a real rush to redig another one out to this sort of level um i've i've done it now and i've seen it but but i kind of would like to just to see what the differences are i'm presuming that there are similarities to all of them so one thing that was really interesting was when I started doing all of this, I was actually being really careful. Like I was trying not to stand too much on the on the building itself. It's funny, I had this sort of feeling of of you know that I was I was treading on something ancient and and that's the what it's meant to be, right? Like it's meant to be it's meant to make you feel like it's a real archaeological dig site. Um and then in the end, I'm chucking torches down and just <laughs> swinging, <laughs> swinging my big <laughs> it, <laughs> it was a lot of digging. Um, incidentally, so there's a guy called Daskalos, um, or Daskalos, Daskalos. I'll leave a link in my description. He did, so he's an actual archaeologist, arch oh no, he's a digger. <laughs> he's an archaeologist and... He does it from the perspective of a real archaeological dig. And I would suggest you go and have a look at what he did. It's it's fantastic. It's really worth it. He, he does it the way you would do it if it was a real archaeological dig. Not like me swinging random things around. Uh, let's swords and bows at the ready. And let's have a look at what's in here. So we'll get a, get a bit of light down first. Okay, so being a little bit cautious, always. And, uh, and a bat. Oh no. It's a bit of wood. Oh, cool. Oh, that's really cool. Hey, I have a great idea for that. A little sneaky creeper. Oh, I missed him. Track him down. Oh, I do like chains though. Where did he go? Put a torch down there. Uh, we could get those chains. I 
aware that that creeper can obviously get up there. Oh, there's a chest there. Well, we like chests, but where did the creeper go? Because we don't like creepers. I feel like... I feel like he probably ended up going off down there, maybe? I'm being a big chicken. Shh. Oh, look at that. Well, yeah, we need... We've decided that it's worth keeping glowberries. And it's worth having diamonds. And I like powered rails. I, d I do like free iron chains, though. Free chains. Ah, we found the creeper, guys. <laughs> Wait, did I did I just make the most masculine sound ever? Did I just... Yeah, yeah. I think we get get rid of a few of these sorts of things along here keep some of that get rid of that fill in some of this and fill in that bit there and then put a bit of a build up there and then a little zinc berg running away i think that'll make a good little uh, good thumbnail I needed a little bit of dark oak, so I decided to just chop down a couple of trees. I don't need much because I'll have a couple of saplings so I can plant them back at home. And then I thought I saw a dolphin out of the corner of my eye, so I decided to throw in a mushroom block to see if I could play catch with it. They're so cool. I wish they served more purpose than just swimming fast. You know, like like I wish there was something more that they did. Uh, you know, just <laughs> but this is this is really nice. So I swam around with my new dolphin friend for quite a while, uh, just enjoying the the sort of game of tag that we had going. It, it was really relaxing and fun. And something that I haven't done before. Then I managed to get them back to where the block was. And, and managed to have that game of, uh, of fetch with them. It's like fetch, but with a dolphin. It's so cool. I don't wish that they did anything else now. I'm just sort of happy that they do this, you know, like this is fun. Played around for a little bit longer and then it was time to head back home. So I found this spot here last week when I was doing my skeleton thumbnail. Uh, and I thought, I thought that this somewhere over here might be a nice place to build a house. I, th I thought just, just something, get something going. I, um, but then I thought, well, I always build near water. I wonder if I could, um, maybe over in this side, in this sort of cavern. I know that's not far to, to travel, but maybe this would make a more suitable place for what I, what I intend to build. So yeah, we might build something around here that'd be nice. Like, 
Yeah. I have a think about what I'm going to build and I'll get back to you. And I think that looks pretty good. Just for a small sort of, you know, easy build. And look, I even did an interior. It's not much to look at, but it's, <laughs> it's something. I've got the bed, I've got some bookcases, a little chair and some storage. Yeah, a little carpet there. I did decide that outside here, I would probably put some animals in this pen. And I know there are some pigs up on this hill. Yeah, there they are up there. But I also saw... Oh, there's another one over there. Uh, I also saw a lot of sheep and cows and things up over here. So I might head up over there and have a look. See what there's there. Wow. This is the place to be if you're an animal. <laughs> Apparently this hill... <laughs> This is crazy, look at all the animals. What is so special about this up here? Look at them all. Wow. Why, why are they, <laughs> why are they here? <laughs> oh look, and another one, a baby chicken. You go and find your mum. Is that your mum there? Nope. All right, that one's your mum, very good. <laughs> And so I think I'll end the episode there. I'll get some of these guys down into that pen down there. And uh, yeah, from me, from Mooberg and Barberg. <laughs> Everything's got a berg. All right, the cow's gone. I don't have a Mooberg anymore. <laughs> oh, so is the sheep too. Oh, and it's raining. Guys, I love you all to death. Thank you so much for joining me. You have a great week and I will see you later. Okay, bye.